Hello, today I would like to talk about how to unit test request handlers with Flask and PyTest. To start, there is a GitHub project that I have over on GitHub called Flask PyTest Example. So if you go to Aaron J. Olson slash Flask dash PyTest dash example and clone that down you will be able to follow along. So once you've cloned that into wherever you like to work, you'll notice a few things. There is a folder called handlers. And handlers has a file called routes. And inside of routes, there is a top level function called configure routes. And inside of that, there's two other functions. There's a hello world, which is at slash. And there is a function called receive post. And that is at slash post slash test. And that is a post. And as the name suggests, that is for receiving posts. So posts coming in from the outside. So. How do you unit test these two routes? Well, if we jump over to tests and check out the test routes file, let's take a look. Uh, I will preface that because we're testing with PyTest, you need to install PyTest and Flask. So. The most basic unit test for testing a route in Flask. Set up an instance of app. Register the route. That's the whole point of that. Configure routes is it's for registering those routes. And then we need to get the test client. And this is a pretty handy function. This comes from Flask. Flask provides a way to test your application by exposing the workzug test client. And because of that, we can do this. And with this client object, we can say client.get, in this case slash, and we'll get a response. And with that, we can use the get data method, which is provided by Flask. In this case, we can prove that we got hello world back. And we can also assert that we got a 200 back. So cool. If we go ahead and run PyTest, that test passed. Let's take a look at the next test. So this is gonna go to the post. So let's review that quick. So post is a little more complicated. It is a post. It's expecting a few things. It's expecting the post to have a header and it's expecting the post to have some data. Specifically a request ID and a payload. So let's talk about the header quick. The header needs to have a key in it called authorization SHA 256. And if that isn't there, then we'll return a 401. And if it's there, we'll go load the data and check it for the request ID and the payload. And if both of those things are there, we'll return a 200. And if they're not, we'll return a 400. So let's write some tests around that. So for the success case, we want to go through and 
get the instance of the app, register the routes, get the test client, get the URL for what we're trying to hit, and then we're going to make two mock objects. We're going to make a mock object for the header, and to do that correctly, we need to assign a key of authorization dash SHA-256, the value of 123. And then for the body, we're going to say value of request ID with the value of 123 and the payload. Inside of that payload key, we'll have another dictionary with two more key value pairs, PyPy and JavaScript as strings. We'll use the test client to make a post and this time we'll provide data as a keyword and that will be JSON dumps. So we'll turn it into a string and output it as the body and then the header we'll put in as is. And we'll make the assertion that after we do this, we expect that the endpoint will return a 200 to us. We'll make another test that if we don't provide the header, we'll get back a 401. And we'll make a third test that if the request data is not provided or not provided correctly, we'll get a 400 back and that is the case those all pass so that's really the nuts and bolts of testing routes inside of pytest obviously the examples can get a lot more sophisticated but this is the most bare bones example of how this can be done so thanks for watching